This accessory allows two or three different circuit breakers to interlock together. Here is the video on how to mount the accessory on a HW1 device. Before operating, discharge the main springs and open the circuit breaker's contacts. Push on, discharge springs. Push off, open the contacts. The indicators must show open and spring discharged. The mechanical interlock plate is mounted on the right side of the ACB. Remove the front cover and cut the MI plastic part. On the fixed version, mount the small pin and the lever on the side of the breaker. On the draw out version, mount the small pin on the side of the breaker. Mount back the front cover. On the fixed version, remove the side plate on the right-hand side. On the fixed version, 
fix the MI plate on the ACB side plate. On the draw out version, put the cover back on the ACB draw out screen and fix the MI plate on the chassis. On the fixed version, mount back the assembled plate and MI on the ACB fix.
On the draw out version, put the ACB body back inside the chassis. Repeat the action on the different devices you need to interlock. We will now install the cables on the mechanical plate. All ACBs must be off. Take one cable from the kit and make sure the sheath is pushed from the top of the stopper. Screw the sheath stopper on the plate, indication 2B. Place the stopper at the end of the cable and attach it to the plate bar. Add the pin and fix the assembly by pinching the small fork on the sheath stopper. Repeat these actions on the different devices used for your setup, depending on your application. Adjust the length of the cables. To do it, be careful not to twist or bend it. A radius of a minimum of 100 millimeters must be respected for a maximum of three curves. Pull on the cable on the side of the plate and cut the sheath properly to the appropriate length. Install the sheath stopper at the end of the cable sheath, which has been cut. Fix the sheath stopper on the setting tool, pull on the cable and fix it on the tool. Be sure to pull enough on the cable and that the sheath is at the stop of the sheath stopper. Then tighten the cable. Cut the excess length. Place it into the lever. Place the stopper at the end of the cable and attach it to the plate bar. Use the setting tool to check the correct adjustment of the cable. Now we can see that it's not well adjusted. Readjust if necessary. Then pinch the small fork on the sheath stopper. Repeat the adjustments or settings steps on the other circuit breaker if it's not good, then readjust. Again, pinch the small fork on the sheath stopper. Test the changeover as illustrated in the instruction manual. Do it five times and check if the settings have been done correctly. If the setting is not any more intolerance, readjust and redo the test.